Say something real quick. Choopy. Yeah, we go. Ch choopy, choopy. Oh. Me. oh. <clears throat> check, check. One, two. We're going to get started, bro. Uh, good morning, y'all. Welcome to Rise and Grind. It's your boy, Rogic, in the building. Your boy, Kari, back again, man. Yeah. What episode is this? This is... Uh, seven. Yeah, we on seven. Seven. Back. Yes, sir. And uh, we can go ahead and jump straight into it. Uh, we had two albums drop. One one from Tory Lanez. One uh, collab album from Ty Dolla Sign and Jeremiah. We can go ahead and start with the... Uh, the Let's see, Terry. I'm sorry, name. My fault. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> Tory Lane's new album, Love Me Now. Yeah, he uppercase and lowercase it like it was 2009. Yeah, like he's 12. How was you feeling about it, Cardi? Because, I mean, I had a weird uh, take on it. We talked about it earlier, but it was you and Hop had a different take on it than yeah, I did. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. I, I ain't finished listening to it yet, but, um, I mean... I've never just been a huge fan of Tory Lanez, you know what I'm saying? So, when I'm listening, like, he got good features, you know, he had Trippy, yep. Ghana, yep. Bryce and Tiller, Chris Brown, Meek Mill. I was really, uh, let me see, let me see the track list real quick. But, I mean, it, it sounded pretty good. The songs that I heard, it sounded pretty good. He just, uh... I don't know. It's just like his sound not really yeah. different. He kind of sound the same. Yeah, and me. like he for hip hop, it's almost so popish that I don't like it sometimes. Exactly, yeah. And like, all right, this sounds bad. But with me, with Tory Lanez, like either that whole hits, <laughs> or, <laughs> or, <laughs> or it's like, or it's like, why the fuck did you make? <laughs> why did you make that? Like, why'd you put that out? I mean, uh, the drip, drip, drip with Meek Mill, that was cool. Um, yeah, two Chris Browns. Mm hmm That's unnecessary. Um, the the one with Bryson Tiller keep in touch. I was really fucking with yeah, that, that one. That one nice. Uh, that one nice. I think Doug My Ex was the one that I was fucking with. I don't I listened to it one time. I Same. actually nah but I really I came into it and I was like, yo, this is Tory Lanez. I might finish half the album because I really don't care. But it, it was a lot, a lot, a lot better than I expected it to be, to be completely honest. I don't like that second octave high note, Tory Lanez. It wasn't a whole, whole lot of that. I'm, I'm going to have to listen to it again all the way through because just like you, like, I was just skipping through it. I was just clicking on, like, I saw a gun. I said, bet I'm going to listen to that. <laughs> I saw a trippy. I said, bet yep. I'm going to listen to that. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, I was just riding in a car, and at one point, I had just turned the music down. I wasn't really even <laughs> listening to it. Like, I just don't care about Tory Lanez, bro. But. Yeah, like, this was, like, I listened to it a little bit uh, last night, but at the same time, like, we was getting, well, not when you was here, but, like, I was getting prepared, setting stuff up for, like, yeah. today for the show, like, and I was playing the album as I was doing that. Like, I'm not just... I'm not just <laughs> yeah, like really not just playing this exactly, album. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like you just put it on and go do something else. Like I yeah. wasn't even worried about. I mean, y'all, yeah, y'all might like it. Like to be completely honest, it's a solid album for me. Like for for Tory Lanez, is is the best I've heard from Tory Lanez, and it's already reached number one on Apple Music. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going up. Uh, yeah, I might have to listen to it again, man. Give him a chance, cause I like you said, I ain't gave him a chance ever, nah, really. I don't really. Yeah, I don't really want to do that either. But uh <laughs> but uh we can go on next. Jeremiah and Ty Dollar Zine dropped their collab album, My Ty. They had dropped a they had dropped a single earlier this week. I'm not sure which one it was off of that album, but um yo, for some of like for two thousand and eighteen R and B, like I'm really I'm I bro, I'm really feeling that album. Man. These two on a track yeah, bro. bro. And and I don't care what kind of like you know Jeremiah caught a little bad name right now for the mm -hmm. the touring incidents and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yo, this shit fire, dude. Stop playing. Yeah. Um, uh, if I I wouldn't I wouldn't let my girl listen to this by herself because she gonna, uh, she she might try to run off on me. Or like she eat. Uh, yeah, it's, it's nah, good. Like yeah, this, love yeah, music, we can man. have sex to this. Like, bro, like for real. you're not about to get to play this. <laughs> you can't listen to this without me. Like, yeah, bro. Uh, Pyt, bro, going through some things was low key my favorite one. I think that was the single that they dropped. Is I that, believe, bro. I don't know though, but yeah, every one really, bro. Like from start to finish, 
that's surrounded though. I love that one. Chris see, Brown. Y'all see my fit today? I'm sorry. I I was looking at myself. I figure if I look like Joe Button. <laughs> 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 we might get some shit cracking in this podcast this <laughs> game, nigga. <laughs> look like you just rolled up out the bed, man. <laughs> Dude, but now you look like you just woke up and the first thing you, you saw, you was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna put it on like that beanie. You look like everything you wearing is Nike right now. <laughs> I know everything you got on gotta be Nike. Nike socks. I promise the guys, y'all. He's got on Nike socks. He's got on Air Jordans. Nike, <laughs> Nike, uh, Kaepernick jersey. Where's that hat? Is it Nike? No, it's not. Okay, it. yeah. Almost though. But you heard Drake. Checks over stripes. That's what I like. That's what we like. We like Yeezys too. I'm trying to get a sponsor. No, I'm trying to get some Yeezys, yay. <laughs> too much money. How much? How much Yeezys running? Uh, four. Nah, now he dropped them. I think they either running two fifty or three hundred retail. That's swear. Still too much, bro. All right, bro. Them same shoes that you that you wearing on your feet right now, if they drop today, those are two hundred retail. And I'm not buying them. Yeah, you right, bro. Like I ain't I don't bought. Care. It. When's the last time you bought a pair of Air Jordan sneaks, bro? Like. It's been like two years, bro. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, bro, I haven't bought a pair of Air J's. I ain't bought no Michael J's mm, since. No Mike's. I ain't bought no Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't bought no Michael Jordan since like junior year of high school, fam. Yeah, bro. Uh, you know, in high school, we was on it, of course. No, nah, because it was a good time to be a sneakerhead yeah. back then. Like, it was a. But then, but then life happened. We, right. we grew up and, yeah, and realized we, that I could put this two bills to something else. Like a zip. <laughs> <laughs> something. Hey, nah, whatever whatever you need, man. <laughs> but nah for real. Like it's just too much. I was talking to somebody yesterday, uh I forget the name of the shoe, but it's the shoes that for real design. I don't even know, but he was like, he paid like. That's yeah. how you could tell I'm out of the. I'm out of the. Me shoe too. Game. I don't even I know. I don't know the name. Of the me shoes either. No me more. either. But he said they was three fifty. <laughs> Nowadays, bro, I feel old because I don't know the names. I can just walk in and be like, <laughs> that shit fire. Like I don't know the names of them no me more. Either. Like new Air Maxes, nigga. If nigga, you've missed me. I know 90, 95, 98. <laughs> That's it. Everything else, you miss me. Even on the Jays, bro, like, I don't even, you know, we used to always okay, know when yeah, Jays was dropping and everything. Like, I don't even know when Jays I'm going to know the model, like, the number, whatever oh, yeah, Jay it yeah. is. But, yeah, I don't know the colorway no more. Yeah. I don't know the name. I don't, Release if, dates be popping. If I say the 11s is dropping this year, I don't know what's dropping this year. I, I, I will say, you know, they just dropped them, uh, they call it, like, the perfect tint some i don't know they're like they like white and red and whatever no i don't know they dropped them they dropped this <laughs> oh, one no like the all white ones with the with red, red lining yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. i saw and somebody then, talk about they needed like fits with that all yeah and then in december they dropping the concords they bringing the concords <laughs> back uh-oh look at you look <laughs> uh-huh, look uh-huh. they just stomach hurt i know bruh bringing them back with the 45 uh, yeah, on it yeah on back. look look y'all hear all that shit i just talked <laughs> hey, scratch that. I'm about to say, nah, bro. I'm going to get them hoes. Like, nah. They're going to be like 225. Can you, bro? But think about the last time those dropped. Like, oh, game was way different. Them. Game was, we missed them, yeah. bro. Like, that was the first Jordan we was really hearing about niggas getting killed over. Mm-hmm. Like, niggas was getting robbed. Back when niggas used to have to wait in lines. Crazy, man. That was like, right. That was like. That year, right before we started, like really getting bro, that's on when the, the that's when the gold, like the golden sneaker age, like sneakerhead age, started like two thousand and two thousand, like, bro, really started low key with the space jams. We just wasn't on it yet, like yeah, two thousand nine to like thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, bro, Michael, Michael and Tink was on that shit, bro. Like <laughs> they was on that whole bro. time, man. Cause you look at it now, like it's thirty, twenty, thirty years, and they still selling like crazy, and they selling for more money and all they do is change like one thing about it you know what i'm saying i'm like man I'm like jordan you're you gonna stop jugging me all right bro but think about it like to be completely honest like do you think the jordans is like selling like they used to like i don't know maybe they are maybe it's just because i'm not buying it that i'm not thinking about it but if i'm thinking about it bro like 
Like niggas not going crazy over Jordans like we used to. Like niggas are going crazy over that new dad shoe. Like them new niggas go crazy over Yeezys. I'm not saying like Kanye that nigga, but like niggas are going crazy over Yeezys, Balenciagas, them them type of shoes now. Yeah, I think it's just a new type of fashion that people on. You know, like back then, like people just cared about Jays. Like you want to go? It get was the like Jays. nice streetwear, bro. Yeah. Like. I, bro, I don't know, bro. But now everybody want to be upper, drip god. Yeah, everybody want to so be like, upper echelon as fuck. So they go get, like you said, Balenciaga. They go get all type of stuff. like, And they dress it from top to bottom. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything they got on might bro, be Bro, I don't designer. understand that, though. Like, I, I, I get it. Like, it's fly. Like, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's fly, bro. Yeah. But, like, I don't need to have the Gucci shoes with the Gucci pants with nah, the Gucci bro. shirt with the nah with like, the belt <laughs> and the, with the belt <laughs> and the damn scarf. Like I don't need it. You, nah, you're a hype beast. Remember when hype beast first came out? The word hype beast. Yeah, yeah, French Montana. I said French Montana. Uh, what was the what's the other nigga's name? Uh, damn, hype beast. We, we know, know about you. What's his name? Uh, uh, Trinidad James, <laughs> bro. Like that's a shame we don't remember your name, fam. Where are you? <laughs> you on CNN <laughs> doing talks. Oh, yeah. Wearing glasses and stuff, right? Trying to look professional. I remember that. Bro, like, they really tried to play us. Now, stop for a second. We'll get back to music after this because I don't know how we got this far. <laughs> Bro, CNN thought they was going to play niggas so bad that they was like, yo, we need a black person to come represent the whole culture. <laughs> Send in Trinidad. <laughs> Send in Trinidad James. We want him. Just imagine like that <laughs> that table talk. They was like, uh, who should we get? Bro, I, imagine bringing him in and like before the camera started. Oh, bro, that, bro, I know CNN think we coons. Of course. <laughs> That's, that'd be their goal though. They'd be trying to portray us in a certain way. Like They didn't want to go get somebody that was intellectual because we could name so many intellectual rappers. You know what I'm saying? Or entertainers, whatever. Hell yeah, and not to say that he not, but like the next but one, yeah. like uh, what's her name? Um, Nancy Grace got two chains. Mm-hmm. Like two chains, very intelligent. Yeah, but like, why are you picking these certain people? Mm-hmm. But yeah, whatever. Cause we got the top of echelon people, but you know, like I said, they they know what they doing, bro. They do it on purpose. I feel like it's whatever, dude. Uh, sh- let's go on. I'm gonna go at the new singles. Uh, Trippy Red dropped Topanga last week. That hoe is fire to me. I don't know uh, how the how how the rest feeling about it. That hoe is straight fire. Yes, uh, sir. Yes, sir. Did you catch the little gospel beat that he got on it? Mm. The uh, the it ain't over in the back. Oh yeah, the, yeah, 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 bro. yeah. The, yeah. T- to the beat, yeah. Through, yeah. Trip, bro. Trippy is at first. When he like was first coming out and stuff, you know, I was just like, oh, another one of he these rappers. He might be another one in the mix, yeah. You know what I'm saying, blah blah, whatever. But I'm I'm starting to really like Trippy, bro. Bro, like from the very beginning, like I was like, not trying to be that nigga. It was like, yo, I was on the first type yeah. shit. But like, yo, when I saw him, I was like, yo, this nigga might be the nigga to stick around. Like, and out of like the the group that he's in, like, he'll probably be the nigga to stick around. Who all in his group? Um. Trippy Red, Lil Pump, oh, man. um, um, what's I, how am I forgetting his name? Um, oh my God! I wish I could help you. I don't know. Juice World, Juice oh, World, Juice, uh, okay, Juice yeah. is in that lane. Um, X, uh, I'll say X was the number one nigga in that lane yeah, yeah, yeah. until he passed. But um, what are we calling that that lane that rap? We, bro, I don't want to throw them all into emo rap. Emo, that's what. We but call Lil it. Pump don't do emo rap. I'm saying like that young generation yeah, yeah, of like that group that niggas don't think is gonna hang around. I I, I, a lot of them, I don't think are gonna hang around. Like a lot of the people that we was listening to in high school didn't hang around. But Trippy, Trippy is very versatile, bro. Like yeah, bro, and he's a out of like like I said, out of these guys that I just named, he's the one that can rap. <clears throat> And he like he got a, a vision like he got art in mm-hmm. his shit, bro. Like he's he's really an artist out here. Yeah, he he's very creative. That's why I'm starting to like him so much because I'm realizing how creative he is, man. Like his last little album, whatever. Uh, I can't even think of the name of it. Life's but, a trip. Yeah, life's a trip. But, bro, I was listening to it and he just creative, bro. Like he sound he sound pretty good. I like when he 
be stretching his voice. Have you heard his other two mixtapes, bro? Nah, I oh, bro. I just started like, listening to Trippy, bro. bro so I'm if you listen to, I like the first one, but if you listen to a love letter to you too, bro, that's that's his best. Like that's his best work to me, like so far. And I, I like I've been listening to some snippets that he been putting out off of um. A love letter to you three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that was gonna be fire too. And he, you know, he got in a little breakup with his girl and stuff like that. So he said he's channeling all of that into <laughs> his next mixtape. I'm ready, Trippy. I'm with it. But so, uh, he's gonna have to wait and see. Yeah, he the only one out of that group. Um, if you want to think it up, like on a different spectrum, like the, a trap nigga. I told this to Hoppy. Uh, if he can clean his act up. I think NBA Youngboy might be the only. I'm sorry, and this sounds bad. Like, I know it's just because we living in a certain era, like, where a certain style of music is what's popping. Like, that little baby sound, that gunna sound mm-hmm. is popping. To me, maybe, maybe it will. Maybe it'll prove me wrong. I don't think that's going to stick around. I think the niggas with that real stuff in their lyrics, like, NBA Youngboy is going to be what hangs around. I don't, and. Maybe Lil Baby and then we'll stick around. I just think, like, I think they'll all be great. And same thing with Migos. We're going to get to put them up in the books with the greats. But, like, this is an era that I think is going to pass. How long you think they got? Like, <laughs> five years? Um, you think? Because I get what you're saying. Because, like, that sound, that the, the type of music that they make gets old fast and yeah and the same thing i'm not trying to quote j cole but like the same thing that he said in uh, 1985 the people that are listening to it now like they 14 15 years exactly. old if we were that age now we probably be listening to it too exactly. but when we grow up like we just happen to be like i feel like when we grew up we wanted to be older than we already <laughs> were all the time so we was one to listen to what the grown-up shit was listening to they was listening to that real shit and we just grew up listening to that and and we have that they don't have that but when they grow up and they get more mature they're gonna want that and there's gonna be few artists in in their age range that actually provide it why being corday um nba young boy yeah. trippy red artist wise x would have did it a juice world might stick around yeah i think juice world will stick around but like i, I sit back and I, I think i talked about it with either hop or my sister or something like that like bro when we was just like four or five years ago in high school, we had niggas like, we thought they was going to make it. Um, I love McConan. <laughs> he retired. OG Macko. Retired. He retired. <laughs> Bro, like, what happened to these, like, and these are guys that, like, they had popping songs back then, too. Like, yeah. they was hot. What happened? Where? Rich homie Quan. Hey, but I will say, his comeback. I don't know if you heard his I last did, bro. album, bro. I did, bro. It was really fire. It just got slept over because it's not like it's yeah, not on that same style that him exactly. and Thug used to be on. But exactly. that's why he backed off. Like I, mm-hmm. I, I read that. Like he backed off because he, uh, I guess I'm not trying to say feminine, but that more open style that the young Thug started to go with. Which homie yeah, went with that, so he was like, "Let me fall back." Yeah. And then he started doing. He got in trouble and stuff like that. Then yeah. He locked up. Oh, yeah, did did he? Some time. he might have, bro. Yeah, he did some, but then remember he uh he was just losing street cred. Remember he was performing the like for he was doing a biggie song. On, like, oh BNT. yeah, he, he forgot, forgot the, the words. words. Oh, you know man, what I'm saying? I so like he was just that. yeah, they was just See, killing but, him. But he would have been all right in today's like he would have been all right now. Like yeah. with the little Zan saying that he don't fuck with Tupac, mm-hmm. the the little Yachty saying that he never he couldn't name three songs by him or however many songs it was. Bro, he would have been alright. He would have been alright. But like I said, he was growing up with us. That it was like, yo, respect, <laughs> respect the OGs type <laughs> music, whatever. And yeah, bro, that sucked. But I'm just waiting to see. Like, I'm not waiting to see niggas fall off. But I'm waiting to see who's gonna be that guy. Because that's another thing that I talk about. Like, at some like all good things come to an end. All good things. Drake's reign is going to end one day. Jeez, man. It, one day. Bro, like, can you even put a finger on who could replace this rap game? Like, I'm not saying that, like, he's the greatest, but, like, nah, yeah, just but, like on since, top. since, like, a like a J or a Ye or something like that, he's, yeah. or, or Lil Wayne, nobody's ran the game like Drake, period. 
him, Lil Wayne ran it in a whole different way, but yeah. nobody ran it like Drake. Yeah, Drake just has remained on top ever since he dropped like his first. Bro, like how do you, bro? Like, like ten plus years, you know rid- what I'm saying? Ridiculous. Like, but what I'm like, can you even see somebody with that spot? I'm I'm thinking about the game right now and like who is in it, and I really can't. It's hard right now, you know, because it's like, it's not even, of course, you got people that's up and coming, that's rising, but it's nobody that's like, oh, yeah, he, he like, gonna he's going to be the spot. best. Yeah. Like, no, like, it's not like, it's not even like these guys ain't promising. Like, yeah, these niggas out here is promising, yeah, but like, they I, all got talent. Yeah, yeah, and like I said before, but like, it's, some of these guys just fit a certain category of music. I feel like it's going to go away soon. So mm-hmm. it's like, dang, can I, can I call these niggas like, can I say one of these niggas the best? Like, I think in my head sometimes, and maybe I got like I just gotta shake it because times is different. Like, will the next greatest rapper alive is he gonna have tats all over his face? <laughs> like, I know Wayne did it, but like, is that gonna be the next kind of rapper that we have in our generation? Like, is is it gonna be a SoundCloud rapper? Is it Chance? Is it, now that's the only person I could think. Mm, that's a good one. The only person I could think is Chance. The only person. Yeah. But I don't know if his personality fits. See, yeah, because they, they, like, those you know kinds I mean? are too reserved. You know like, what I mean? Yeah. So, like, it's hard. Like, it's and hard. I always wanted one of our, like, the our favorite rappers, like, those conscious rappers to step into that position. Mm-hmm. But, like, you could, like, they don't really want it. Kendrick don't want it. Yeah. I always wanted that for him. Cole, well, he had it for a second, but he don't want it like that. Yeah. Cole definitely don't want it. Like, not not that he don't want it, but it just he don't want that yeah, limelight like be that. Chilling, yeah. Bruh, I can't even put a finger on it. Nobody's that hot. I wish somebody would step up though. We need like a LeBron, you know what I mean, like that spokesperson. Maybe it's cause maybe it's cause niggas was being groomed back then. Maybe it's because the record label game is different. Like, mm. like yeah, I can see that know. with I can see that with QC, but like Cash Money was so homegrown. Mm-hmm. Like they was like Hot Boys was hot. They they had Juvenile it was that nigga. They. Right out the gate, as soon as that over, they groom Lil Wayne to be that nigga. As soon as that was done, they grooming Drake to be that nigga. They grooming Nicki to be that nigga. <sighs> they were, man, they been killing it, bro, for a long time. Forever, nigga, since the 90s. <laughs> Golly, man. Like, what is y'all? What's the formula, Ronald Williams? <laughs> what is it, baby? I need it. Look, yeah. probably. Yeah, or stealing no niggas' money. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's a fool for that. How you gonna do Wayne like that? That's man? your that's your son, fam. How you drop the ball like that on your son? Then you trying to get him killed? You been bro tried to get him killed? Like a lot of people forgot that he had his tour bus shot up. I ain't forget. Oh no, I'll mm-hmm. n- and Wayne will never forget ever. I don't even. And they like he got on stage and they shook hands. They'll be he apologized, over, bro. Even throughout the beef, they'll be seen together in pictures. Like, these what? niggas hugging. Like what do y'all like? Nah, my daddy can't shoot my. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my daddy can't shoot my car up. Mm-hmm. Nah, fam. I don't want no smoke with you. I don't want to hang with you no more. Kick it with you, nothing. Skate, bro. Nothing. How the fuck did we get here? I don't know, man. <laughs> How did we get here? I don't know. We just having fun with it today. Nah, for real. It's yeah, wild. But uh, yeah. Well, let's move on. Let's move on, cause we uh we diverted just a just a little bit. Uh, Cardi B dropped money. Uh, she was supposed to drop it last Thursday, mm-hmm. but I believe she dropped it on. Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, a little controversy. I don't really, I don't really dig too deep in it. You know the Nicki Minaj, Cardi B thing. She said that uh, is the Barb's. Is that a person or is that the fan base of Nicki Minaj? I don't. I think it's the fan base. Okay, yeah. So I guess somebody was able to get their hands on <clears throat> money by Cardi B earlier, and leaks started dropping. So she was like, you know what? Let me just drop the song so y'all don't get this satisfaction from me. Blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Yo, and it's really like. Well, the song go hard, man. Yeah, that Cardi go B hard. goes hard. Bro, bro. I, I, man. Oh, man. my God. I, <laughs> bro, niggas, I underestimated Cardi B me last too. year. I'll be the like, first to admit it. I swear, I swear, I won't even, I won't even lie. Underestimated Cardi B. Bodak Yellow dropped. I was like, yeah, she got a hot one on her. Mm-hmm. That's it. 
<laughs> and I was the same way. I barely like. I was like, that's it. No, uh, you know the song blew up. Of course, it was in every party, every yeah. everywhere you turn. So like, I really for the longest hadn't even listened to the song myself. When I it wasn't first even dropped. hating. I'm just yeah. thinking like, yo, this it's is just, just one of these yeah, hot songs. Song. Like one of these number ones is yeah. gonna come out. So like. I was just hearing it. I knew the words and everything just from hearing yep. it. It was everywhere. You know what I mean? So then, after playing it and listening to it, I'm like, okay, she was really spitting on that like, song. Bro, and, and after that, like, it really made niggas listen. Like, made me listen when she said, drop two mixtapes in six months. I was like, she got, mi- right. <laughs> she got mixtapes? Right, yeah. Bro, she really be spitting. And the, the album she dropped, The Invasion of Privacy, earlier this year, surprised Hard. the fuck out of me. Bro. Hard. Like... I, bro, it really, really surprised. Like, <laughs> like it's, I was like, damn, is this good? It's, Start to finish, man. Bro, she has one of the highest selling albums, like male or female, of the of this entire year. Yep. She has one of the only albums that I think go platinum this year. <sighs> bro, I'm looking at the bro, track list, and, man. And I already reported this, I think, on one of my first podcasts. Bro, the only female to have three number mm-hmm. ones. Like, yep. that's not... That's not having three songs that are on the Billboard Hot 100. You have three songs that have been number one. And once that one went number one, it stayed on the Billboard Hot 100s for your second song to come up. And that bitch went number one while they was both on there. And you dropped a third song. And while these two were still circulating, that other third one went number one too. Just taking turns. Bro, like... (laughs) And she's doing it like one of them was with Maroon Five. She's mm-hmm. just, and then pop. the other one was her own songs. But yeah, she the song Money goes hard, man. Cardi B is hot right now, and I hope Super. she don't stop dropping music. Like I hope she's still like you no, know, because she getting caught up in a lot of the drama. Of course, she just had a baby and all that. Yeah, but she's still new in this game. I think yeah. she like it's just gonna take time. Like yeah, she gotta she just, polish off her, 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 her not her attitude, but like her her who, media training. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. She's need. Somebody in our circuit to be like, hey, you can't do this anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you, like, you got an image to uphold or something. It's that thing, like real, real niggas, bro. Like when you when you really test them, like like you see Offset still, <laughs> still in be getting streets, into it in the streets. Yo, this a hood ass unit and culture about to be hood. Not the album, the baby <laughs> with a K on me. But, but nah, man, the song is nice if you have not heard. It. Cardi B, money, please listen yeah, to it. Yeah, jump on that. Please. Uh, the next, I think the last single that we was going to go over, Rich the Kid with YG, Drop Mo Paper. Uh, I only listened to that one a couple times just because, you know, it's like, I, I fuck with Rich the Kid. Like, I really fuck with Rich the Kid. It's just like, you know, it's a Rich the Kid song. So, yeah. like, I expect same thing. Yeah, and then if I'm not mistaken, because, you know, I mess with Rich too, I follow, like, all his platforms. So, I think he kind of, like, teased this one not too long ago a couple weeks ago so when i was listening to it i was like man i think i heard this before so i really wasn't yeah, that I, excited. I definitely had heard it before i'm not even gonna lie yeah he be if you follow him on instagram like he he always like dropping stories yeah. and like videos of upcoming music but um it was straight to yeah, me yeah it was like, a cool yeah. song it wasn't just nothing just like ah, i just make you yeah like i didn't have to go get the song nah, like yeah. it was it's good though like yeah. i i, I played that riding in the car yeah i'm not even gonna then, lie uh yg's verse went hard to me on the song yg right. always straight like i just i'm just like I don't, i've never just i'm just not a huge yg fan just be like yo let me go out and get this full length yg album but like when yg drops songs i'm definitely gonna listen to it because he drops good singles I'll be messing with his albums, man. I he haven't. Got, even his mix, uh, mixtapes, that was just from like back in the day. when I'm not saying he's not good or nothing like that. I just never really dug deep into listening yeah. to YG. Yeah. I saw somebody on uh, Twitter yesterday. You remember She a Model by YG? Like niggas was jerking. Like, <laughs> yep, <laughs> like jerking. Ain't, she a model. She walked the runway. Hey, model. Keep running back my way. Song. Hey, model. Yeah, you had to jerk to know that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Jakari used to Dougie all the time. Yeah, and you used to jerk. <laughs> if you look in this camera right now, you could tell I, <laughs> you could tell I used to jerk, and you could tell you used to Dougie. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear, bro. But uh, yeah, we can go on. I think that was the that's it for drops. Go on the news. Uh, last week's. I put Future and Yachty. I'm tripping. Uh, Future and uh, Juice World's L- World on Drugs. Dang, I almost forgot the title. 
that dropped last week and it came in this week at number two on the billboard uh 200 albums they sold 98k first week you think that's a w or that's a l for uh for future and uh and juice i think it's a w for juice world i think it's definitely a dub for juice um uh, i really don't know how what they be going for as far as when they do collabs like yeah i don't know if they really care they just it's different if it's like a drake future collab like yeah. you gonna get numbers with that one but but yeah it's definitely uh for juice probably even for future too because it may be like it showed a different side with him being able to rap with a young cat like we've been talking about you know what i mean actually do a whole album with him and sound good how do you think that like did, do you think that or i think the the songs fit and they all sound great do you think that's like that that style really fit with future or do you i feel like that was more of a juice world tape i feel like i got a whole lot of juice world i feel like i got future out of it too but like it didn't feel future to me it felt juice world to me with some future in it i'm going to agree with you on that because just listening to what future has dropped recently like the beast mode and then his last two albums in the last year, it was definitely more of a of a Juice World yeah, album, and like a new sound. I'm about to say maybe it's not just Juice World. Maybe it's just 2018 ish. I don't That's know. What I'm like thinking, yeah. yeah, just that sound of because like it's because I know the not the sadder side, but the more melodic side mm -hmm. of a future. Like like what he dropped on Hendrix, and it didn't really sound like that. Nah, like yeah. World on Drugs didn't sound like Hendrix, mm -hmm. but. But yeah, the songs that uh that he had by himself, you can definitely like if you compare it the songs that Future dropped on the tape, if you compare those with the ones that him and Juice were actually on, you could tell that it's different. So yeah. like Afterlife, he on that one by himself, Future is. And it's a good song to me, but you can tell like if you listen to the other ones that it's just a totally different sound. Like it that's future. When he by himself, like that's him. You know what I mean? But then, yeah. Not to say that the songs sounded bad, cause they sound great. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm still jamming this album. I know we talked about it last week, but I've been playing this album every day. At least one song off of it every day. Uh, yeah, I play at least every day. I play jet lag. Yep. Uh, I play real and realer. Mm. Um, real and realer. I play the freestyle. Find China. I play fine. I don't play. I don't really play the ones a lot with Future. What? Make it back. Juice by himself. Dog. I play that one. Yeah. Over. Uh, no, nah, I over. don't play that one a whole over. lot, but I play it. But um. Seven a.m. freestyle. That's one of the hardest tracks. Bro, I'm trying to. I'm trying to look at the first. Okay, here's the first week's. Okay, these are first week projections. And this was for Little Baby and Gunna. I'm trying to see how what they sold first week. Um, because what this is saying is that they were projected to move 115 to 120. That's what they was projected to say? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's why I said I really don't know. Like, trying to, if that's really a dub for them. I mean, like we said, I feel like it is for Juice, of course, just because, like, he probably going to be everywhere now. Everybody might want to get a track with him, but Future probably really don't care, man. Future's had number one albums, I'm sure, number one singles by himself. So like, he probably don't even care what this. So. Yeah, I think I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but either Future or Hendrix, if not both of them, was number was one. Number one, um, yeah. But bro, I'm sitting here thinking about it, bro. Yeah, yeah. He might not care, but bro, that's a L. <laughs> That's a L for future, bro. Think about it. Like I'm not 100 percent sure. Don't quote me on the exact first week on Lil Baby and Gunna, but projections was 115, 125 thou for Lil Baby and Gunna, and Future came out 98k first week. It's because of it's Juice World, you know. Like he just still he not on the same level, I guess, as Baby and Gunna. Cause I really wasn't listening to Juice before this. Now I feel like I got to like I, I like his sound. So maybe, maybe uh, it was a little stunt to get Juice out there. It might have been. I I don't know how you haven't been listening to Juice. Juice is selling number one yeah. platinum records, nigga. Like going double triple like platinum. Goodbye and good riddance, <laughs> nigga. Like have you? Did you hear that album? Mm, I still ain't played. I know you told me to, but I still haven't played it. Bruh. 
fire uh lean with me all girls are the same is my favorite song on the album like lucid dreams not even my favorite song on that shit like all girls are the same is favorite one to me he be having he got interludes like it's bro this you gotta be really i don't know like trap niggas like like k jones won't listen to this stuff like <laughs> if he do like i'm not knowing he's listening to this like yeah like i yeah, you gotta really. I guess you gotta. You gotta be a type of nigga that's gonna f- like. You gonna be able to vibe with feeling the emotion of a rapper. But yeah, because it, it's not. It's not that harsh. It is emo rap basically. That's what they do. And I guess that's the new thing. People is an emo rapper. Hex was an emo rapper. Uh, Trippy an emo rapper. Um, Juicy emo rapper. All these niggas out here is really emo rappers nowadays. <clears throat> I'm ready for that that wave. I know we were talking about it earlier, but I'm ready for that wave to disappear. Hell yeah. Um I just don't know if when it disappears, what's next? Like we've gone so f- <laughs> we've really diverted, my nigga. Like there was a point in time where I thought, yo, like, hey, what niggas is calling real hip hop, like back in the day, like, hey, yo, I feel like this is coming back, like when when Kendrick was on the come up, Cole was on the come up, um, Meek Mill was coming up, um, Wale, like that 2013 time, like when Born Center was coming out, uh, Good Kid had just dropped. What was that Wale album? Oh damn! Was it the album about? Not- nah, that one just dropped like a year, like within the last few years. So, uh, uh, it dropped on the tw- what was it? January. Uh, January 25th something like that cause he dropped I just remember uh, he waited a couple weeks after cause he knew Ye mm-hmm. and, uh, Ye uh, and Cole Cole and Mac was what well, he didn't run worried about Mac but yeah was it the, the gifted yeah, yeah the gifted yeah, bro okay. back in that time it was, I felt like yo you, you, conscious rap might be the thing again like niggas is niggas is back with it mm-hmm. nope <laughs> I don't even remember that album really other than the song Bad. That's cause you was, was on Born Center hard as hell. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know it, man. But uh bro, yeah, I felt like it was gonna come back, but I don't know, like it always seems like things is good and some's different happen. Not to say what stuff's going on ain't good because it's fun. But it's not it's not the best, like I don't know. Music to me is always something that we didn't know we needed, but yeah. So we just gonna have to move with the time. Yeah. Uh, Yachty actually came in number twelve on Billboard Hot 100. I said Hot 100. Billboard 200 albums. He did 40k with nothing to prove. And so you know how we were just talking, win or failure. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> This 12 not good enough, Yachty. It's really not. You had nah. something to prove. And I don't know if people just not messing with that because I am. I know. I'm messing with it hard. And the thing about it is, like, I'm not trying to compare him to other people on his label. But I'm pretty sure uh, Baby's Last Tape went number one. Damn. Quick, quick, quick. Like, that shit went number one. Quick. Um. Uh, not number one on Billboard. I'm not gonna say that. Like, yeah. it, like it went number one Apple Music, Apple, number yeah. one all that. Like, it was, it was, it was, it was higher than this one. <clears throat> but I'm looking right now. Okay, his last album, Bo Two, said it opened up at number two, and he sold like sixty four. So if you just comparing it to his last album, it's a it's a flop. You know what I'm but saying? But like. Uh, Hell, I'm really not honest, like because I, I we said this last week and I gave Boat Two the edge last week. Mm-hmm. I'm not giving it the edge no more. Dang. Oh, and and uh, Ro playing that album over the weekend really changed some shit for me. Uh, I came back and I've been listening to it today. I was listening to it yesterday, bro. I apologize, Quavo. That shit hard, bro. <laughs> bro, Quavo hunt your heart, bro. Like I'm, I'm not even gonna, not even gonna flex. I, I still ain't listen to it. The, like that. the track he played, the role play with Kid Cudi. 
I uh, lost. It was the the outro, bruh. He bruh. Ran as soon as I heard it, I was like, yo. It's just like it, it. It was just hard to me, and I was like, yo, I gotta I gotta play this whole album. Like I gotta I gotta play this shit all over again. Shit hard, bro. It's not, I, I disrespected it. It's not like I'm not saying it's like the greatest album ever. You still. <laughs> it's still like it wasn't what everybody expected, but. It was not bad to me no more. Like I don't, I don't take it bad. I'm still on Yachty, man, cause I'm, yeah, I'm hurt. Well, my fault, I diverted, but yeah, like nah, he, I'm just hurt for him. Bo two did 64k first week. You said, yeah, I think I was. But really, like, don't quote me. You know what I'm saying? But I think that that's was right. probably right. It sounds right, but he, if Bo talked about how his fans were fickle, not like his fans were fickle, but he said like you know, the the kids today now they're fickle, like. Mm-hmm. What they what they listening to now they might not be listening to later. Um I think that's another reason why they're getting off they're getting off as many projects as they can in a certain amount of time. Because what is this? His fourth project in what, two years? Just about, yeah, he dropped a Little Boat back in sixteen or sixteen I think, sixteen, seventeen I think. Yeah. Um Lil Boat was sixteen and then he also dropped that summer songs and Summer 16. Songs too, yeah. Wait, was that Summer Songs 1 or 2? 2 yeah. was yeah, in two. 16. Yeah. Um, this is stuff he dropped commercially. And then he dropped what? After that, Bo 2? Uh, I believe so. No, no. He dropped Teenage Emotions. Teenage Emotions, yeah. Uh, and then he dropped then he Bo dropped 2. Bo two yeah. Then he dropped nothing. To, this is his fifth project and since look, 2016. Yeah, that's a lot. But um, I'm trying to see. Okay, so Teenage Emotions reached 5 on the chart. And look, uh, Bo two, reach two. I mean, it's, and it's hard to think that now. I'm saying like maybe it'll come up and it'll get higher, but it's like I don't think it so. already debuted at twelve, yeah, so it's like, like that's not good enough. If he was like in the t- top, if he was six, in the top, nah. If he was in the top five, I'd say he okay. might do. But bro, if you think about the, if you look at the, look at the albums in the in the Billboard top. Like right 200, now, like the top albums, they not going nowhere. It's like beer bongs and Bentleys, no. um, <clears throat> probably uh, Scorpion and shit. Yeah, uh, Cardi B. Trying to pull it up. Yeah, you. S- Wayne still on right, there. Quavo, Wayne, Drip Heart. I told you them niggas did numbers. LMA, Scorpion. See, yeah, he's not gonna get up there. Astro World. Uh, he ain't. Like, Eminem still in Yeah bro he's not, he's not gonna get up there like. Okay look Maybe I feel like There was a lot of music That dropped Last week When he dropped His tape So maybe that may be something You know Cause Future and him dropped uh, Who else dropped last All week right, Did so Tory drop last week Or did he drop this nah, week Nah Tory dropped on Friday um, Somebody else had dropped last week It was a lot of music That came out last week um, Bro a lot of niggas Dropped last week I literally just Erased this stuff But I'm finna pull it up Yeah but I say If you had that last uh, Or if you haven't had If you had that last email I sent Yeah World on Drugs Drop Yachty Khalid Brent Fias, Um There was more than that yeah. They dropped though Um the Glizzy drop last? That wasn't that week, was it? I think it was the week before. It was the week before that, yeah. but but yeah, like I, I don't know, Yachty. I brought. I can't blame that on Yachty. Like, nah, this yeah, is, this because his fans. tape is hard. That's solid. Like that shit was solid. Tape is like, hard. People just not listening. That's crazy. But maybe, maybe people are really feeling the oversaturation from him, or just the game. Period. I don't know, cause can you say that? Like, well, you can. I mean, did. I guess I would have to pull the numbers from like all these rappers, see what they're doing. Like I don't, I don't know. Like maybe, maybe niggas are feeling the oversaturation and they're not buying like they were before. I don't know, man. That's crazy, and I'm really baffled because that's a solid album. Yeah, it might. What I'm really thinking, bro, it might have just been the timing. Like that's the only thing I can really think about it because the album is great, and if you're looking at he's he made two with his last album. So, you know, he's capable of doing, of getting up there. So, it may just be the timing, bro. All right. And another thing I'm thinking about is, bro, it's us. Like, we listen to music mm. all the time. Like, whatever it is, like, we going to give that shit a chance to see if, because we don't miss out on music like that. Um, I've seen a lot of people on social media say stuff like, Yachty fell off. 
I don't know how you could fall off this quick, but kids fickle. But um, <laughs> I don't. Are people really not listening? Maybe like I don't know. Oh it, well, it made it been. I'm not really that much of a just super crazy Yachty fan to even I'm tell not you either. If but he these fell last off. two tapes, I really got on them. Me too. But I remember listening to the, like the teenage emotions and being like, man. Yeah, and I was like, yo, what is this? Like, I don't want to hear this. Like, I probably I listened to it, of course, but I wouldn't. He went it. like album mode. Like yeah. I'm not saying like other people have different album, but like, yeah, he really, he yeah, really yeah. felt like he had to change his style. Yeah, I was about to say, I feel like he he was doing something that he really wasn't comfortable doing. Yeah, but yo, I can go on to the next. A lot. Can you see if you can pull this one up just because like. Have video. you heard? Have you heard it? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. I just wanted to see if I if I could get it one more time. And I'm gonna put it to the mic. Uh, XXX and Tassion actually had a uh, an unreleased interview, I believe, with Pitchfork that dropped, in which he spoke on uh, the things that happened, I guess, between him and his alleged uh, d- domestic abuse case and, and other things. Let me just go ahead and see if I can play this. Bruh, so I said at the beginning that he was about his uh this domestic abuse uh situation. It was that and he also confessed to I guess a stabbing. <laughs> a sta a stabbing? Maybe maybe I'm not the hugest X fan. I didn't actually start listening to X until like January twenty eighteen. But uh did y'all like maybe I'm not hip a stabbing? Yo, and man's did it like yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. Look, I, I was at a loss of words i couldn't get the words and i was like yo i was yo and the thing is like i thought it was fake at first when i heard the audio but i was like at first i didn't know who it was at first and i was like damn this voice sound like x <laughs> and he was he didn't like want it to be him yeah and <laughs> bro because i didn't want this to come out after his death like this and he was like till i started fucking up and i was like x. that's him <laughs> I, was like, I was like that's x that's, that's him <laughs> that's x Bro, and I thought it was gonna be over until he started talking about a stabbing out. Man, uh, with eggs, bro. I don't even. I hate to speak on the man because you know. Because you know he's passed. Yeah. Yeah, but it seemed like he was a, a lunatic. <laughs> yeah, bro. he was troubled. He was yeah, troubled. Man. Um, and but one the one thing I was gonna ask, like I was, I don't, you don't know the answer more than likely, but still, like. Is Pitchfork not in some kind of trouble for withholding this kind of shit? I know, like, how they even? How did you like obtain this? Like, but like, how did? And if they was for like, if it was from an interview that was unreleased, how did you get away with that? Like, how did you get away with leaking this information? Not, not even leaking it. That's not the part that I'm worried about. How they got away with? But how do you get away with withholding confessions? Like, is that not a crime? Yeah, and then like, I mean, what was he being interviewed by the police? Did he interview with, with Pitchfork? You know what I'm saying? It's like, and that's my thing. Like, how, and if if that's the case, I hope that they obtain this from some sort of police or something like that. Even though that sounds bad, but he was that open to say this in a Pitchfork, like a Pitchfork interview. If that's this couldn't have been a Pitchfork interview. No, nah, I'm thinking he getting like interview uh like uh um like examine yeah like interrogation yeah, interrogated. Or you know what i'm saying so um yeah because he being very the he described the situation perfectly even you know, like when he was talking about the domestic violence situation that's what i'm saying and like i don't think you really get into depth and detail like yeah. using the words fucking her up unless right. you're already in police guys like right. yo like but man he I mean, bless, bless the young man's soul, you know, but yeah. like like you said, he was same trouble, bro. He seemed like he had a lot of things going on that he might have been holding in or a lot of things were affecting him. Yeah, bro, and that probably, like, I, that's probably old, to be completely honest. Like, if you, if you, I, I followed X. Like, once mm-hmm. I started listening, bro, I, shit was good. And I, I think I had said this before uh, to you, not on the show, but, like, I didn't think it was going to be like this, but he just seemed like an artist that was too good to be here for this long. Like, I just, yo, it's, it was like, yo, something bad is going to happen. <laughs> too good. But, uh, damn, I really forgot what I was going to say. Damn, kids, don't smoke. <laughs> no uh, drugs. Bro, like, that quick mid-sentence. 
mid sentence. I will say like what I was just talking about, like him, all those things that was going on with him. That's what made him so good for the the small amount of time that he was here, is because he poured all that out into his music. Yeah, bro, you could feel it. Like we was talking earlier about like those emotions like coming out and how some people might not like that, but obviously you know we're fans of that. And I haven't listened to him as much as you have, but the songs that I have heard, like you could feel that even when he passed, like everything that people were saying, like oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That's what I was gonna say. I followed him so closely, and I had only started listening in January, but after that, I followed so close that like you was seeing the transition this guy was making, Mm -hmm. uh, changing his life. His life, yeah. And in his last album, you could hear it in there too. The same thing you could hear like with Mac Miller on swimming. He talked about his transition and moving forward. And it just ends too soon. Like, it, it, that's what I was saying. My ex, he was really getting his life back on track. Like, he was moving forward as a positive person. He was trying to do good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But too late, man. Yeah. Life life catches up to you sometimes, man. Yeah, horrible. Uh, take off. Take off, take off, hey, take off. Hey. Announces his album. Uh, we knew it was coming. Quavo had been talking it up, talking it up. But he announced uh, November second, this this upcoming Friday. Yes, sir. Takeoff is dropping his solo album on <laughs> Friday, guys. <laughs> Friday. And what is you? What are you like? What are you expecting? Are we getting closer and closer. He dropped the he dropped the single. What was the single name? I forgot. But uh, um, last last ro- last. last no, that's the name of the The Last album. Rocket is the name of the, the album. Uh, uh, let me pull it up real quick. I don't have my phone on me at all. But it sounded good. It sounds straight. Last um, memory. The last memory, yeah. yeah. It sounded straight. I'm not I'm not even gonna lie. I'm yeah. I'm actually like I'm not surprised. I'm actually glad he didn't drop like some big number one hit song because like I I don't wanna hear work in me. And then the album drop, and they all not yeah, and they not all good as working me. Um, not saying like it wasn't good, but I know that there's gonna be tracks on the album way better. So I'm excited. Uh, I hope he drops the track list before the before the album drops, just so I can see how many tracks I'm gonna have to listen to. Um, <laughs> I hope, oh man, eight to ten. <laughs> well, yeah, I was about to say we were just talking about this eight, last eight week. Eight to ten, please dog. take eight, off. Eight to ten, dude. <laughs> please do not, dude. Please off, do not give us fifteen. And offset, you know we don't want it. Please, we like, do not need fifteen. I, I, can, I can hear more from you, offset, but I'm saying like, yo, keep it, keep it, keep it short, dog. Like seven, seven to ten, eight to ten. Yeah. Um. But yeah, man, I'm super excited for this. I'm geeked. Uh, I'm, I'm already thinking it's gonna be better than Quavo Hunt Show. Not comparing, but I'm saying they gonna have a, they gonna have a, the the recipe cooked up right for for Takeoff. I know they are because Takeoff catches way too much flack for for QC to let him drop something like that. Oh yeah, and then so I got a question for you since we was talking billboards, and we saw what Quavo did. So what you expect? Number one, <sighs> number one, number for one. real, number one. Okay, the Quavo Quavo Hunt Show did number one first week. Take off would we'll take off. I promise. And 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 just to say this, like I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna flex. And you might be able to mark me, bro. He's gonna sell more than Quavo did. Oh my God, bro. Wait, just wait. I don't. I, I'm not even the hugest Takeoff fan, but like, oh, Takeoff I mean, got such a chip on his shoulder. Yeah, that bro. Like, everybody waiting. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not saying I don't hope that happens. I'm just. I'm. I want you to say it and not me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so bro, we can I, come back and I'll be like, hey, you said I, that. Yeah, I don't care about being wrong. Uh, <laughs> and but I'm excited, bro. That's crazy. If he go number one, y'all can't tell. Take oh, off nothing. Oh, no. Like, no. Stop. Like, hey, I don't care if he sells more than Quavo or not. He's going number one. Okay. Well, and if he sells more, you can't tell them nothing. Oh, yeah. you Yeah, yeah. No more, no more slack. Y'all better stop playing with takeoff. And the worst thing about it, not the worst thing, but like, I feel like, not even because, even though he he is the best to me, I feel like Offset is gonna sell somewhere in between the two. Unless unless this album is just so fire that everybody is waiting. Because if this album does Quavo Huncho's like kind of thing, niggas not gonna be waiting on Offsets like that. Cause yeah, this one. This one gotta be different, yeah. Like you said, cause we've already, 
Bro, if we get the same with what it, what Quavo just dropped, we're gonna be like, uh, Bro, but it's like, takeoff. I'm not even expecting that. Like, I'm expecting something different. I'm expecting him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's so just, like, of course, they are a whole group. You know what I'm saying? But takeoff is just himself. Like, he's so different to me from Quavo and uh, yeah. Offset. Um. So I just feel like his his album is gonna be like creative, man. Bro, and and the reason why another reason why I think he's gonna sell the most is because we've heard all of them not solo but we've heard them all branch out except for takeoff we have not even heard a collab from takeoff the only thing that we've heard outside of migos it's not even migos like it's not even outside of migos the quality control tapes is still migos um there's not been any quavo it was supposed to be a quavo uh Lil yachty tape they hadn't finished it um yeah bro and he dropped a couple of singles. Remember that one? Intruder, was Intruder, Intruder was hard as hell. Yeah, Intruder, Intruder was, was hard. hard, bro. If he would have, if he would have like, if Intruder would have dropped on Friday, Ooh. bro, I'd be like, yeah, this album gonna be stupid. <laughs> Imagine if he would have saved that, like how he just dropped Last Memory. If he dropped Intruder right now, see, bro, and that's what I'm saying. Oh like, if Offset come out with a single like Monday, <laughs> I, bro, I know this always gonna be fire, like bro, fire. Now I'm excited even more than what I was. Yes, now we talking about it. Yep. I'm and saying, I over here, I got chills, Right, dude. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Doug, y'all, I have chills, <laughs> Like, that is always going to be fire. Um, yeah, man, can't wait. It's dropping this Friday, November the 2nd. 6 uh, 9 had his final court appearance to pull up for, uh, in which the judge was, I guess the prosecutors were pushing for three to four years sentencing. He yeah, was able to just escape Finesse. his way out of it. Yeah, finesse his way. I don't know how. Like, I, I promise. I don't know how. Uh, and he's only serving four years probation. Does not have to register as a sex offender. I'm not saying, like, because of the charges or anything. Well, that's a, a factor. But um, I think the deal back in 2015 was um, you're going to have a certain amount of probation uh, during and during this period of time. You're going to be able to prove whether you're a law-abiding citizen and after this period of time i think he got his his um his uh charges suspended i guess for a certain period of time and they were like yo if you're law abiding the city as a citizen will pause because i'm not i'm <laughs> i don't have grammatical error <laughs> <laughs> like, i don't have grammatical errors like this i just said C citizens <laughs> and i said bruh yeah if he was a law abiding citizen he would get off scot free scratch free whatever you niggas want to call it but he's been getting into a lot of shit he had a shooting at the barclays his bodyguard just got shot at his uh at a celebration um they ran through his home uh they said a gun was found six nines been getting to a lot of shit. he got into the fight in california at the airport yep He's just an idiot, bro. And they still let him get off. I'm man, shout, shout out, hey, beat the system, fam. Nah, I but, was about to say, what uh, these rappers, bro, they be having the greatest legal teams. Bro, they lawyers that's be what I'm, like, on go. Yeah, yeah, hey, the dude. example I want to use is the Migos, bro. Offset, like I remember the last one he had got uh whatever happened to him. I think he got like pulled over. He had like guns and weed in yep. the car or something. But like right after that, because he got out, obviously. He had made like a post on Instagram of his lawyer, and he had made like he had comments saying, you know, like the best guy ever, whatever. But obviously, the guy is a great lawyer, he has great whatever credibility in law, you know what I'm saying? But these rappers, they have, they be spending money. <laughs> bro, on that retainer is probably more than my house. Of course, like, bro. All right, if of you make it, if you making like, bro, they 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 pulling at like, all right. And I know the price has gone up, but last time they they named they price, bro. They doing eighty k a show, and they on the road nonstop. And since the Drake tour, you know they doing more than eighty k a night on on the Aubrey and Amigos tour, bro. Yeah, I can pay for the, I can pay for whatever lawyer it take, the most the most expensive whatever you got. How I'm getting out, but the fact that it, they actually winning. Cause it's one thing to spend money, okay, of course, you know what I'm saying. But like, they actually getting the job done. Like six nine, I have no idea how he's not locked up. No idea. All no right, idea. And, and if he's not locked up, 
I have no idea how he did not have to register as a sex offender. Yeah, man. Bro, I mean, man. I don't know like the full story, but I know that he did something crazy um, where from, he should be registered. I think from what they saw, I did listen to him give the entire story. Um, but I think, you know, he used to make viral YouTube videos or Instagram videos, whatever it was. Um, a girl that he said was 19 years old that I guess she said she was 19 years old or according to him. That's how it went. Um they made a video with her and I guess he played with her titties and shit like that. Girl ended up being fourteen years old. And the thing that alright, the only thing that really made me kinda believe six nine was the fact that he talked about how after it happened, people called him, they were like, Hey yo, you know that girl was fourteen? And he was like, Yo, man, shut the fuck up, no he's not And they was like, Yo, the police are looking for you. Six nine goes to the precinct. They were like, Yo, I'm Daniel Hernandez, I think that's what his name is. Um, um, y'all looking for me? Uh, y'all, y'all looking for me? They were like, y'all, no, nobody's looking for you. Go home. Nigga went back. He was like, yo, y'all looking? Yo, no, nobody's looking for you. Go home. Until his parents, like his mom, called him. Yo, the police is at the house looking for you. That's weird. And the motherfucker went to turn himself in. That's that's the only thing that that really got me. It just made things like. Mm. And maybe kid maybe kid really did think she was of age but yeah. you know it's always that how she look like she 19 but nowadays it is like that though yeah but uh from that story he probably used some of that in court you know what i mean because if you tried to turn yourself in twice or however many times that's that's a good report on your end yeah you like know. the nigga went to the precinct and tried yeah. to turn himself in twice. So that may be the reason why he was able to escape at least jail time. He still got probation, like you said. But and at the like at the time, I believe he was seventeen. That you know they tried him as an adult, but of still course, like he course. was still like he was still of course minor. Well, New York, he's probably an adult. Even even no, in most states he was an adult, but he was on that very edge. So they probably, you know, they charged him as an adult. They probably treated him like a kid too. Ain't no telling, man. But I'm I'm just shocked because he's a nutcase. I mean, first of all, I know you've seen him, like what he's worn to court before. Uh yeah, like looking like a clown. Like he will come in with streetwear. Like he will come in with yeah, this on to court. Stupid, and then it's a, the if, tats on your face. It's for the clout. I know. And the only reason, like I said that, is because a lot of people got tats, and a lot of people got tats on their face. All his tats say six nine. It's, and if they all, and if they say six nine, I mean, and they all just say six nine in different ways. Like one of them say six nine spelled out. One will be yeah. the numbers. One will be the number with the letters. They all say six nine, like all of them, all of them. He's just trash, bro. To me, like I don't, I don't think he's trash. But um, uh, all right, bro. Like, and this is another thing I I talked about with Hop. What separates him? All right, think about just the music. What would separate him from Walk a Flock of Flame? Just music. Just music. <sighs> What you thinking? I need help. Nothing. <laughs> what separates him from Flocka? I'm trying to think of how Flocka was hitting us back then. I go hard in the motherfucking paint. Yeah. Nothing but just straight banger ass music. Like we not listening to that shit for anything else. Mm-hmm. Just party banger hard, nigga. Like just that's it. I don't know, bro. That's tough. I feel like six nine is just. I don't know if it's like we've had this conversation before. Like we don't know if it's him or if it's just his team. He got, but the moves that he make are very precise and thought yeah. out and smart. And maybe, you know, because of the time that we're in, things like that are easier to do. Cause like, think if Flocka was moving like that back then, you know, what could have been or whatever. But I don't know. That's really, I guess, when you think about it, you really can't separate him because Flocka wasn't really saying much. You know, he was just. He was with Gucci and them. He had a good little team around him, I guess. So that maybe made it better in a sense. But, dang, that's tough. Maybe nothing. You may be right because Flocka wasn't lyrical. He wasn't, you and, know what I'm saying? And what I'm thinking like that is like, is he, does that mean 6 9 good? Or does that mean Flocka was trash? 
You killing me, man. Uh, <laughs> name one name one flock of song with some substance. I can't even name one flock of song. I know. Other Instead of gross we know. Yeah, Grove Street and uh Hard in the Paint. What you just said. Was that that the um uh, see, I don't know. Um what's the other I'm tripping uh um, Yeah, I know I'm missing something. Mm, 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 mm. Villy. Um I fuck my money up. Now I can't uh, re up. Yeah, oh no, let's do it. I'm gone, tripping. Oh yeah. no, let's do it. Um just to get my stacks up. Was it was it his song? Was it just making sure it was his the uh, The No Hands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No Hands was his. Um that's the last billboard hit he probably had. Probably only. Oh, let's do it. Probably did numbers. Mm-hmm. But um, just uh, he dropped the album this year, <laughs> <laughs> bro. My bad, <laughs> like that's crazy. Yeah, bro. I'm listening to your girl more nowadays. <laughs> like I've heard your girl more on the radio now, and I want her. He lucky to even have her. Bad, What's bad. Her name? Tammy, Tammy Rivera. Yeah, he's lucky to even have her. I want you. Cause tripped out. He almost lost her. To me. <laughs> Never. But uh yeah. That's that's it. I don't know how we got to walk well yeah, we did. We got to walk a flock from from six nine. Uh-huh. I, I brought that up. Um Yeah, make sure y'all I, I don't always say this, make sure y'all like uh Comment, subscribe on the page. Click the button, subscribe. It's not that hard, my guy. All right. Uh, stay tuned. We got new episodes every Monday morning. Check us out. Uh, it's been Rising Grind, man. It's your boy, Roger. It's your boy, Kari, man. Catch y'all next week. All right, bro.